you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Fujira or The Whale? Apparently, the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters, afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. But honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Militech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 flying fortress over Arasaka HQ. Dean of Arasaka's PR department, one Reverend Colbert. Praise be to thee, our Father. Fuck! of the hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Hooked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated So, what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, is he? All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias. Oi, Yeno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Like do we do? We'll see about that. Are we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Mm, no way. I'm a tech, not a miracle worker. Don't you? Just give me the cell. I will make it to the orbital air. Man, I don't have to do anything. First stop. Like Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I, am a I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Misty. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know.
find me once Vic's done dusting your shirt. We'll hash out what Dex is cooking. Your memories! Or your eyes do not belong to you forever! Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. Well, the pleasure today. Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. They got... Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kid. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but the tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. The need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight.
Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, forget where you came from. chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean red. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best. Excuse me, just a sec. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me, for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshawn in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. <laughs> Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. Biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. The client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know maelstroms involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade. We don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. 
three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> Anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leave you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a dog, yeah. Come to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Maelstrom? Ah, there you are. Go on, let them know we're here. What you waiting for? <sighs> Don't know you. Wanna talk to Royce? Dex sent us.
Don't think I've ever seen security like this in the Chow factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots and dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. That's Militech, all right. Psychoborg scrummed out with military grade hardware worth millions. This should be fun. We'll just mean us home. T0 D12. Called a flathead. And the hell you care. Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch. Planet. can talk. Here we go. The flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Down prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this! Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. Uh, I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. Hi. Right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Lord, you got the Eddie's for it. Or to offer us a discount. Maybe. A discount? Fuck. Uh, you know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half of Pacifica? <laughs> he ain't dead? Nope. He's alive, well, Sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? You 
short shark. Bring it, cocksuckers!
Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Will. Puta mano!
Let's see that pretty face, please.